Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Second Kings, I said. Let's go to chapter 13. Verse 14. You can follow. The Bible says, and now Elisha was falling sick of his sickness whereof he died. Am I in the right verse? And Joash the king of Israel came down unto him and wept over his face and said, Oh, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And Elisha said unto him, Take bow and arrows. Am I in the right verse? And he took unto him bow and arrows. And he said unto the king of Israel, Put thine hand upon the bow. And he put his hand upon it. And Elisha put his hands upon the king's hands. And he said, Open the window eastward. We're in East Colonia right now. And he opened it. And then Elisha said, shoot. And he shot. And he said, the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. And the arrow of the deliverance from Syria. For thou shalt smite the Syrians in effect. Till thou have consumed them. Sometimes you got to read the Bible like that. Verse 18. Because I want you to pay attention to 18. Uh -uh, hmm. And he said, take the arrows. You're not there. I thought you'd be shouting too. Oh, you have on your mask. That's all right. Take the arrows. And he took them. And he said unto the king of Israel, smite upon the ground. And he smote thrice and stayed thrice mean three times 19 and the man of God was wroth with him and said thou should have smitten five or six times then hast thou smitten the enemy the beast till thou hast consumed it whereas now shall smite the Syrian but thrice thrice the word is a whole word God told me to go get it and the, I, the theme is stop not short stop not short Maybe there was something wrong with my English when I wrote that sermon. But as I prayed about it, it seems like God wants you to know that stop is a main thing that's happening there. And then God is saying not to stop short because we are on a mission. So I believe this word is for somebody that already started, not for somebody that did not start. <laughs> But if you want to take it, take it as well. Hallelujah. But the Bible said, hallelujah, that Elisha was sick unto death. And the king got smart and came to the house of Elijah. Be careful when you come to church. Because there's victory in the church. If you listen to the pastor. If you listen to the pastor. The man said, open the window and shoot your arrow. And he said, the deliverance, the Lord's hand of deliverance is with you. Somebody say, amen. It's pure miracle signs and wonder happening. But it's in the midst of when many are stopping short. They're stopping short from what God has called them to do. And some can't figure out why. So much things are going on. So much 
you know, things are happening uh, uh, negative things and why roadblocks and all kind of stuff glory to God uh, my God because it stopped short uh, come on somebody glory to God hallelujah my God the man of God prophesied uh, on the altar uh, a young man of God that God told uh, to go prophesy against King Jeroboam uh, my God he prophesied so powerfully that the king got the burn uh, my God and the king said is un to try to put a hand I thought you was reading my you was preaching my sermon this morning but it's all right it's a good confirmation my God and the King Jeroboam a God stretched his hand towards the the man of God and his hand withered my God but the man of God was so loving that the king realized that this is not somebody to play with and he said man of God please pray for my hand to be better and after he prayed he miraculously the hand became better my god and the king tried to entice the man of god to go home with him he said i'm gonna give you him half of my kingdom are you hearing me somebody but the man of god said something that many of us had said in the past that god said to me i should not stop short i should not go to the left nor to the right nor back up my god and he left but something happened when the young man of god left the king's house he met a whole prophet that told him an angel spoke to me and said no nah, man you can stop short today you can come and ease yourself can i tell you something when you see the world like it is it's not time to chill out I well, say so you can come and chill you're doing too much you're working too hard I posted several videos online and many people don't even comment on it they tired the apostle but as soon as I post something against the beast the first person to attack it was our old prophet nobody else said anything my fact even sinners said rev i'm glad you did that because you strengthened me and they're in sin but the whole prophet begin to try to attack it because some have stopped short because they took the injection my god almighty a god oh, but god is saying to you that i've not taken or you, you, you repented god said don't stop short that's the word for god don't stop short somebody say amen somebody say amen many of mighty prophecies mighty prayer mighty singing mighty choir mighty conferences loose woman man power but today they have stopped short they have no way to be found Come on, somebody. You begin to search everywhere. You can't find them. You scroll on the internet. You can't find them. My God, if you scroll on the internet today, you're going to stop short because there's so much things to hinder you. Everybody's laughing and making funny videos. My God Almighty. Ah, I thought the algorithms had some sense to know that I'm a child of God. So when I scroll, give me things that is tangible. But it seems like the algorithm is a beast system because they begin to put things that I'm not interested in hoping that one day my God but I will not stop short my God somebody tell the beast that come on declare with your mouth if you have to lean your mask a little bit lift your head so I go underneath the table but shout it I say I will not stop how many of us are like the man of God I said, God told me to be a prayer warrior. God told me to sing. God told me to preach. God told me to pray. God told me to fast. God told me to give money. I hear apostle was talking about some testimonies that happen here. There's so much sometimes, hallelujah, we, we don't have time to tell you all the testimonies because there's so much, my God. But let me, let me help somebody, my God, that, that she was talking about. When God bless you in a certain way, let me tell you what you do. You keep trying it. Between you and God, you keep trying it. If you give $10 and you got a breakthrough, you and God every day or every week or every month, keep trying it don't stop 
Don't stop. Make it, if it's working, let it work. Don't worry about everything else that's going to clothe your mind. Somebody said, don't stop short. If you said it, do it. You said you were going to give. You know what? This week, I'm going to pray for more Christians. I'm going to pray for more people in the church. But what happened now? Oh, Shanda, I guess you were on the same Instagram with all the videos. All the time because these things have become a device of the devil oh god you said you were gonna pray more but all of a sudden oh god you find more time for everything else my god you said you were gonna fast more my god but it seems like there's a spirit that's causing you to stop short saul was a mighty man of god but he stopped short because of people not the pastor Bishop was preaching a sermon about the priest, the people, the place. Come on, somebody. You have to understand the levels. You have to understand the levels. Saul was king, but he had a priest over him. Come on, somebody. Some people take their pastor for popcorn, you know? They think, they think this church here is a popcorn church. Your man came here that was sick unto death, and God delivered him right here. He tell me by himself. And people come here and begin to try to take it like a popcorn. Jesus was king of kings. Am I right? But where was he born? Was he born in a palace? Was he born in Advent? Was he born in Orlando Health? Where was he born? In a major. Be careful. Oh, your eyes cause you to stop short. Oh, you went for the big stadium when it's all packed for you to come every night and every day. But because we're in a 2,000 square feet, you better watch that spirit. God said to tell you, don't stop short. I don't care what they tell you. We come under our attack. And Nehemiah teaches us. All we need have attack, work, and have sword. I see some, some of you, you push through. Because the attack came. Some people begin to say the whole state is under attack. That's not true. That's not true. The devil is a trickster. All he does is put up mirage. Come on, somebody. Because when they were saying attack was in Florida, I was on the field. And when I went on the field, I was in New York. And when I was in New York, I heard a bunch of people that were under the same attack. So I'm wondering, how can it can be a state attack? No, it was a mirage. Because the devil can't stop you from gathering to church. So he tried everything. My God, you know, the, the devil even wanted to tell people that is the church cause it but let me tell you something they don't calculate their bar mitzvah they don't calculate their after school programs they don't calculate the bus that they take they don't calculate the walmart that they go they don't care I tell you, this part of the sermon you ain't gonna like, but God tell me to tell you, don't stop short. Bible said Judah stopped short because of money, money issues caused Judas to be missing from the fellowship. Be careful, or you don't like the fellowship. Uh, fellowship bring fire. I'm, that's what I'm close on the fire. Be careful our church over. You're gone. The church is not the building. It's the people. The more you're in the people, the more poor you get. That's why everything they try is against gathering. They're not afraid of the, the southern borders and all the, 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 the gangs coming in. No, they're afraid of us gathering. Because the more you get, is the more power you got. How many of you didn't want to come this morning? But when you come and heard the choir, you say, Thank God, I did not. I did not miss Rabba Koshandaka. Oh, me, you didn't want to come. But when you hear a pastor get the mic, Rabba Shandaka, he said, Thank God. Let me tell you, the devil going to try everything to get you to stop short. Because he knows that when we gather, there's power. When we gather, there's prophecy. When we gather, there's people at a place. Somebody said, Don't stop short. The Bible said the king 
he shot eastward and he won. So the, the prophet said, okay, hit the ground. Maybe because the prophet was sick, he took him for potato chips or popcorn. The salted one. Why didn't you beat the stick man? Notice the Bible said bow and arrows. If a man of God tell me, take off your shoes and fling it through the door. I want if I do it, he said, listen, every Omicron die. I'm sorry for you because I'm gonna take off the next foot. I'm gonna fling it through the door. I'm gonna come to you next. I said, give me your shoes. Because if every moment every sickness gonna die, I'm gonna kill everyone until every shoe is outside. We love to back up too much. We love to back up too much. Oh to finish. Because the stopping short is causing you not to finish. You have to have the finish line fire. I heard that word some time ago. I don't even know who preach it. But you have to have the finish line fire. You have to have the fire to keep you. Oh God Almighty. Jeremiah, Jeremiah said, 20 verse 9. Then said I, I will not make mention of him, nor speak anymore in his name. How many people you hear saying that now? One woman in... In a certain state where I was living, we were putting on some lot of revivals. And they decided they want to be a part of it. And they said, no, we, we have to have some singing and, and, and gospel music and this. That. And I said, sure, no problem. Add it to it, but don't start the revival. Come on, somebody. Some folks tell me, listen, ah, pastor, we have a revival every night, but we want to have a barbecue. Can we stop the revival for barbecue? I said, listen, what are you going to do? Add the barbecue to it, but don't in the revival. You ever notice when you say it, in the spirit, revival sound like fire, or it's just me? Oh, God. Jeremiah said, I'm not going to talk about him no more, because guess what? He was being persecuted on the internet off the internet true family they were persecuting him saying why you think you're so holy you're holier than me i've been saying before you jeremiah was getting a lot of persecution so he said i'm gonna stop short but something within me burn like fire all that i know all that i know that i wanted to stop but i could not stop for the fire of god it rested upon me somebody asked me what's going on in florida it seems like you guys are on fire i said no no it's the fire that is upon us the bible said when jeremiah wanted to shut up he feel the fire if you want the fire you have to want it in your bones not just in your tea not just in your microwave not just in your eater you have to want it in your bones i feel the fire shut up in my bone all i want to do i want to stay home but my feet have the fire i want to stay back but my feet keep moving me all that i know Oh, all that I know is the fire. Oh, if you get this fire, everything will be all right. Everything will be clear. You'll become wise like Solomon. If you get the fire. Sit down, sit down. Glory to God. Glory to your Holy Ghost. I don't know if this ever happened to you. When I was younger, I used to fight with righteousness. I know I was supposed to go read my Bible and fast and write a sermon that God gave me. 
But somehow I used to watch a lot of movies. I used to play a lot of FIFA, a lot of video games. But something used to happen to me. Every time I did those things, when I'm about done, I feel a little hole in my spirit. I used to feel a little hole. You know, I was young in the Lord, and I couldn't figure it out. So what I used to do, I used to run off the game or the TV or the video or whatever it was. And I began to watch some church video to try to fill back whatever. Marco said, Nico said, it's a fire. The fire. <laughs> Shaka. No matter how powerful you are, your fire can't go out. If you don't feed the fire, if you don't put more oil on the fire, oh, Sanda, come on. The fire is going to go out. Oh, God. Anytime you feel that is stop, you're stopping short. It's not everybody you must watch on the internet. One person asked me, oh, to stay safe, pastor. I said, go to church every time it open and stick to your church. The Bible said, I will drink waters out of my own cistern. When you love to watch videos on TV, the beast know. And the beast going to give you a preacher that's so good. He's so better than apostle. Bulldozer. But at the behind the scenes is a preacher that is sodomized. Is a preacher. Oh God. Somebody try to let me listen to a preacher that is a sodomite, but it couldn't work. Oh the God am I. We have to, he's not a bad person, but you have to know how to guard your spirit. Isn't that what you preached last night? Woman of God, protect. You have to know it's not everybody can do the same thing. Some folks can watch 10 videos and 10 dance videos and 10 clap and videos and they are right but if you watch one your spirit get empty I come to tell you you need to be like Jeremiah with the fire how to get it get the Bible read the Bible know every story highlight the Bible quote the Bible speak the Bible read the Bible Stand up on your feet. Joseph, you were under a lot of tech. You were in the Bible. But what kept him was the vision. The vision brings fire. Oh, by Sandra, Commander. Anytime you feel like the fire is trying to go out, remember the vision. Go to www.harvestarmy.org and click slash prophecies and go look at the ones that have been fulfilled. God said there was going to be an earthquake like never before in the Caribbean. 80 saw that earthquake and to this day haven't recovered. Japan saw one of the worst tsunami earthquake. Oh God, God prophesied that the East Eastern side of an eastern country. Oh, Mondokan, you need the prophetic fire. But time gone, so I have to preach every point in one point. You need the prophetic fire. When you feel like stopping, get the prophetic fulfillment. I said, God said, the line of fire. Now we got a Bronx, Brooklyn, Jersey, Pennsylvania, North Carolina. Now we have Atlanta, Florida, Tampa. Now we have the fulfillment. Oh God. God said in 30 days it will be over. The sun came before the end of the 30 days. And in 30 days you got up and produced 600 but watch this God sent me on a mission today the fire will cause you to give more some of you are holding out on God God told me to tell you because it's a warning it's slick a warning let me talk like the young people yeah, you gotta watch it you gotta watch it God said it's 30 days for 600,000 so why it took a whole other year just for the down payment? Come on. God wants us to buy city. Not, have, not apply for city. God wants us to buy the city. But some of you are holding out. I guess you're holding out for a rainy day. The day you do that, 
you got a hole in your fire because that's in the books in the school not in the bible you got to give god send our bishop to the mountain top to preach a word how to break financial struggle every one of you need to get all the points and read them and watch them and rehearse them and pray them yes because in order to finish you have to have that if if you want to finish fire just gather to the altar because time gone we're just gonna pray quickly and close you want the finished fire just gather at the altar yes lord the altar is where the finishing is the altar <laughs> that's why we have two altars in the church <laughs> called one chase a thousand that pass you right there, but it's all right. I said, <laughs> come to the altar. Ah, don't wait for me now. I'm just a, a vessel of God. Just open your mouth. Begin to talk to the Lord. Tell him what kind of fire you want. I want the fire like Jeremiah. That's in my bones. Or I want the axe to fire that came down like cloven tongues and rested upon them the bible said john came and baptized but he said there's one that commit after me he's gonna baptize you with the holy ghost and fire today if you're not filled with the holy ghost come to the altar you're gonna get filled with the gift of tongues the tongues is fire shake out to remind that i want everybody right here begin to invoke your fire tongues begin to pray in tongues can we get at the altar and begin to pray in tongues one chase a thousand two will put tens of thousand to fly somebody open your mouth now call the bible said he has given us power power on earth with god and with men begin to invoke your tongues Will everybody begin to open your mouth now begin to pray now if you're filled with the Holy Ghost praying tongues it will be easy for the others I see the fire coming on somebody. Rekatame de kanda. Remlo kotunde de. Remanda na. The devil wanted to stop your shot, but I see the fire coming. I see the fire coming. Open your mouth. Reba kanda kanda kanda. Begin to start to worship the Lord. Begin to start to praise Him. Open your mouth. Let the Holy Ghost fill you. Rebo kasanda kata. Rekanda na mande. Remanda na basanda. I feel the fire in this place i feel the fire the fire gonna touch you today it's gonna fulfill the prophecies all the promises are yes and amen somebody open your mouth begin to prophesy in tongues begin to pray in tongues begin to worship in tongues Rebo Kasana, come on, get louder, get louder, get louder, get deeper, get deeper now, get deeper, go to the deeper depths, the higher heights. Somebody, open your mouth, get deeper. Rebo Shata Mahara, Reba Katande, Reko Tede, Rebo Kasana, I release the fire, the fire today, the fire to finish, the fire. Go ahead, go ahead. Shake an another robo soto. Shondo do go ahead. Let the Holy Ghost fire burn you. Let it burn. It's okay. I see your feet. It's catching fire. I see your feet catching fire. 
Reba Kashanda Dada, Oba Katere Reba, Rekatanda Dada, Edo Soto, Rebo Kondoro, Remana is fire in the house, fire in the heart, fire in your heart, fire in your hands, fire in your feet. Somebody open your mouth, get louder, let the fire of God touch you today, touch them, Lord, touch them, Holy Ghost, touch them. She command Akanam. Take it, take the fire, take the fire. It's a higher level of worship, it's a higher level of praise. There's one called the praise and worship fire. If you don't have no music, you still have the fire. Shake up and there's one called the prayer fire. Reba Karar. Woo! Woo! Shake and nanana. Reba Tedded. Red and nanana. Red and nanana. Oh, 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 my man. Oh, my man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I feel the fire over this corner. Shatamani, Shekatatani, Oba Sheto, Rebecca Shander. Lord, touch them, touch them again, touch them again. Oh, Baba, oh, Baba, oh, Baba, oh, Takataka, oh, Baba, right. Somebody worship him. Begin to praise him. Lift your voice and shout hallelujah. Worship the Lord. Renew your Live your voice and receive the fire. Receive the fire. Prince of Peace, 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 Almighty God, Almighty God. Thank you, 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 go ahead and thank him, go ahead and thank him, a lot of things just change, your life just change,